Okay, hello everyone. So uh, today I thought I'd discuss a little bit of uh, some beautiful moves that uh, I found on <clears throat> on my notes from Barry class um, on uh, March 25th, 2014. Um, and it's this has Barry's really beautiful move on round midnight, uh, one of them, and and it's a it's a very useful move, and uh, you can use it several places. So, uh, so I thought I would share that with you today. Um, so here's the move. And then this move can be done chromatically. Sorry, I messed it up. Okay, so let's let's dive into it. Um, first of all, here it is in context. So that's that's where it fits. It fits over the B minor seven to E seven, the B flat minor seven to E flat seven, which lands on A flat minor seven. So let's have a look at it. <clears throat> what is a B minor seven? A B minor seven is a D six, right? So what he does. Um, he comes down essentially what is a D uh, six, but he adds he goes five three two one of D, and then six to five with the chromatic, which of course gives you that's actually right inside of the D six diminished scale. That's basically a D six diminished scale with a note missing, two notes missing. Only he, he omitted the G and the C sharp, and, right? Now, this then becomes the leading tone, the seventh of the B minor seven, which is equal to the fifth of the D, moving to the third of the E seven. So here's the third of the D and uh, of the E. Oh yeah, and one more note. It repeats. It repeats. So there are two very quick septuplets. Right, you gotta do this with, as if, if I could quote the master, he says, with abandon. Do it with abandon. And do it when you're playing in abandon. Sorry. Anyway, um, now this is the E7. The E7 is the third, seventh, flat nine. Uh, I can't even do it anymore. Sharp 11 and 13. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, okay. So that's a sim dim. Okay. You can either think of it like that or you can think it's the family of E. What we have here, the E diminished, we have two roots of the dominance. What does that mean? E diminished, and again, for more information on this, there's a video on the diminished genealogy where all, all of the chords come from, and also a video on how to apply diminished family. And this is what this is. Here's an here's a E diminished. If I lower each of those chord tones, I get four dominant seventh chords. So, so the diminished scale is a combination of the roots of these dominants, um, the E becoming an E flat seven, the G becoming a G flat seven, the 
B flat becoming an A and the C sharp becoming a C, those all make another diminished chord. And those are called the roots of the dominants. So you have the diminished notes and the roots of the dominants. And together they make the scale. The octatonic scale, the symmetric diminished scale, the half whole scale. There's so many names for this scale. Barry calls it family because the family plays well together. So here it is. Right here, we have the E7, right? Three notes to the E7. And this, the diminished that's found on the E7 is a G sharp diminished. I actually gave the example with the wrong diminished, forgive me. So it's really this B diminished or E or G sharp diminished or D diminished. The G sharp diminished is the diminished that's found on the third of the E7. And here are your diminished notes. Right? Here is the root of the dominant, the B flat, borrowed for the G sharp. And here is the root of the dominant, C sharp, borrowed for the G. So what does that give you? It gives you a B flat or, or A sharp minor triad. The third here is actually the third of a C sharp. It, sorry, it's part of this C sharp six. And the C sharp six is part of the family. All of those work on top of the E7. So I just like to think of C sharp minor, uh, uh, B flat minor. Right? So. And then we can go down chromatically. showed you how it works in in round midnight but there are many other places you can do it and specifically these two the B minor to E7 to B flat minor to E flat 7 so many songs do that um, uh, one example that comes to mind is half Nelson which is basically uh, ladybird so you go flat a lot of people when you when when they play the solo they'll go they, they put a B minor to E7 B flat minor to E flat 7 and in fact I think that's what half Nelson does right so that's a perfect place to put it you know and here it is oh there it went. See, I don't know if you have time to do it twice. If you're really good, I guess you could. Let's give it a try. Three, four. So that's a nice effect. What's another good place to do it? Ruby, my dear, has a B minor seven to E seven that leads you back to the beginning, right? Ruby, my dear.
So that's another great place for it. So uh, something beautiful, something beautiful. Uh, I'll share before uh, before I go. First of all, uh, for those of you who my generous Patreon uh, subscribers, I'll post a screen grab of, of these notes the way I took them um, and uh, some other applications which you might find interesting. Um, and, uh, you know, and I'll just, I'll close with one very, very quick story about um, what happened to beauty. And this is a story Barry loves to tell and I just, it really, it really struck me because especially in this day and age, he says, what happened to beauty? Beauty and ugly took a swim and ugly got out of the water before beauty did and put on all of Beauty's clothes. So poor Beauty only could put on Ugly's clothes and then now Beauty's walking around with Ugly's clothes. Why do I think of that? When I think of this, it's a thing of beauty. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So um, that was the association and that's what, that's what this video is about. And it's also a very useful move. Um, so I hope this was useful. If you enjoyed it, please consider visiting my Patreon page, Isaac, uh, Patreon slash, uh, Patreon.com slash Isaac Roz. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, tell all your friends. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping that uh, the way forward is, is beautiful for everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.